The Nigerian government has launched a revenue generation initiative scheme to drive income growth. The fiscal authorities expect this to push up non-oil revenue growth. Lara Folayo reports. Nigeria has an 8.8 .8 trillion naira budget for 2019. Government expects to finance it through improved revenue initiatives. Nigeria's revenue has recorded a rise since 2016, but still stays at about 53% of budgetary projections. The fiscal authorities now aim to achieve revenue targets with a growth initiative scheme. The revenue initiatives that we have have been broken into clear implementable portfolios so that each relevant ministry, department and agency will own this initiative and work towards achieving the target at improving our tax base and also improving our collections. The Federal Inland Revenue Service and Customs are key non-oil revenue generating agencies of government and they occupy an integral part of this new process. One of the first things that we're trying to do is to close the legal loopholes and ensure that people do not take advantage of on not updated tax laws or policies to beat the system. This is expected to be concluded in the next 6 to 11 months. We're also planning to expand and harmonize the tax identification numbers and have a central database. With the broadening of the tax base, we'll have new duties that will be added to what we are collecting today. We must look at our export policy. As of today, we collect no duty on export. We are supposed to produce and send out, not to bring in. And if we are to do that, then we must review our policy with regards to Export. Government is positive tax reforms alongside other strategies will help optimize income generation for the country. There will be a VAT increase. During the course of 2019, we will have clarity as to which items and what the rate will be. We must strengthen the non-oil sector to protect us from the volatility of the oil price in the international market. All right. Revenue generation dockets are now being handed to relevant agencies concerned with this new initiative. They are to own and implement these documents. A steering committee chaired by the finance minister will also be inaugurated to drive the process. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.